Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. Make sure to stay until the end of the video where I have a bonus problem which you guys can try to solve after learning how to solve this one. So we have 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3. And I have four answer choices for this problem. So for A, I have, th sorry, I have nine to the power of three. For B, I have three to the power of nine. For C, I have nine to the power of nine. And for D, I have three to the power of four. Now for A, how they got this was they kept the exponents the same and they added all the bases. So I did three plus three plus three and then they kept the base the same, or sorry, the exponent. Three plus three plus three is nine, so they got nine to the power of three. And this method is actually wrong because you cannot actually add exponents like that. Now for B, what they did was they kept the base the same, which is three, and they added the exponents. So three to the power of three plus three plus three. Now 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, so they got 3 to the power of 9. And this is wrong as well, you can't add exponents like that. Now for C, they did both. They added the bases and the exponents. So I did 3 plus 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is equal to 9 to the power of 9. And this is wrong as well. Finally, for D, 3 to the power of 4, which is actually the right answer, so we have 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3. Now the first thing you have to do is factor out 3 to the power of 3. So then you get 3 to the power of 3 times 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, so you have 3 times 3 to the power of 3. And this is equal to... 3 is the same as 3 to the power of 1. So you have, if you have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, this would equal 3 to the power of 3 plus 1, which is equal to 3 to the power of 4. And 3 to the power of 4, to simplify this, this is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times, again 3 times 3 is 9, so you have 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. So that is our answer. All right, so our problem is 16 to the power of 4 plus 16 to the power of 4 plus 16 to the power of 4 plus 16 to the power of 4. So for our solution, well, our original equation was 16 to the power of 4 plus 16 to the power of 4 plus 16 to the power of 4 plus 16 to the power of 4. Now, what I can do from this is I'm going to factor out 16 to the power of 4. So now this is equal to 16 to the power of 4 times. Now, 16 to the power of 4 divided by 16 to the power of 4 is 1. So I have 1 plus, again, 16 to the power of 4 divided by 16 to the power of 4 is 1 plus, again, 1 plus 1. So now I have 16 to the power of 4 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now, if I simplify some of the parentheses, I get 16 to the power of 4 times. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So I have 16 to the power of 4 times 4. Now, 16 here, this is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 to the multiplying by itself 4 times, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 4, right? Meaning 16 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now, if I substitute in 2 to the power of 4 for 16 in this problem, I get 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 4 times 4. Now, 
If I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 4 here. We can think of a as 2, m as 4, and n as 4 as well. So this would equal a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 2 to the power of m, 4 times n, 4. Now 4 times 4, this is 16. So now I have 2 to the power of 16. Meaning, 16 to the power of 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 16. So now... I have 2 to the power of 16 times 4. So, well, now 4 here, this is equal to 2 times 2, right? So, now, 2 times 2, well, 2 multiplied by itself twice is the same thing as 2 squared, meaning 4 is equal to 2 squared. So now, if I substitute in 2 squared for 4, I get 2 to the power of 16 times 2 squared. Now, when I'm multiplying two exponents with the same bases, let's say I have a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is actually equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, a is 2, m is 16, and n is 2 as well. So I'll have a to the power of m plus n, which is 2 to the power of 16 plus 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of 16 plus 2 is 18. So 2 to the power of 18 is our answer. So now it's time for our bonus problem. How to solve a to the power of 16 plus a to the power of 16. And for this problem, we have four answer choices. So A, this is A to the power of 32. B, this is 16 to the power of 16. C, this is 4 to the power of 64. And D, this is 2 to the power of 49. All right, so make sure to stay until the end of the video where I can give you guys a bonus problem to solve. So eight here, this is equal to two to the power of three, right? So let's try out A. A, what they did was they simply just kept the base the same and added the exponents, so they did eight to the power of 16 plus 16. 16 plus 16 is 32, so they did a to the power of 32. And this is actually wrong. You can't just leave the, you can't just add exponents like that. So that is the wrong method. Now for b, what they did was they kept the exponent the same and they added the bases. So they did a plus a to the power of 16 which is equal to 16 to the power of 16. And this method is wrong as well. You can't add exponents like that. So it's not B, it's not A. Now for C, what they did was, it seems that I actually don't know this. I do not know how they got this, but yeah, I don't know how they did that. So, but C is not the right way either. And for D, which is the correct method, remember how I said A is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So what you have to do is you have to substitute in 2 to the power of 3 for 8. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 16 plus 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 16. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So right here, we can think of a as 2, m as 3, and n as 16.
So now I have 2 to the power of 3 times 16 plus 2 to the power of 3 times 16. Now, 2 to the power of 3 times 16 is the same thing as, well, 3 times 16 is 48. So now I have 2 to the power of 48 plus 2 to the power of 48. Now, if I factor out 2 to the power of 48 from this, I get 2 to the power of 48 times. Now, 2 to the power of 48 divided by 2 to the power of 48 is 1 because anything divided by itself is 1. So I have 1 plus, again, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I have 2 to the power of 48 times 2. Now, 2 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. And as you can see, these two have the same bases. And when I'm multiplying two exponents with the same bases, let's say a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So these two will add to each other, meaning this will be equal to 2 to the power of 48 plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 49. So 2 to the power of 49 is our answer, which is...